This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We're coming to you from the windy city of Chicago, Illinois, at ITW 2016, and I'm sitting next to the CEO of Perseus, Mr. Jock Percy. Jock, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks. Thanks, Dean. So for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell us a little bit about Perseus? Um, yes, uh, we're a global, fully managed service provider, um, primarily to the world's capital markets. Mm -hmm. um, we've got 100 points of presence around the world, operating in 33 countries. And we provide a, a managed service stack that starts off with the connectivity layer, uh, and goes all the way up to a market data presentation layer. Very good. So let's talk customers. Who are your key verticals? Um, we have uh, a blend of, on the finance side, of banks, typical City of London, Wall Street types, mm -hmm. um, hedge funds, proprietary traders, market makers, um, as well as the platform operators, um, the folks that deliver your ticket to your TV, mm -hmm. uh, including the exchanges themselves. On the non-finance side, we have a, a number of uh, you know, media groups and large e-commerce clients. Okay, very good. So um, let's talk expansion. I understand that um, that is kind of a uh, a big thing there at Perseus currently, specifically in in Asia. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I think um, it's a big thing in that it's a key part of our value proposition. So we we need to uh, offer our clients um, a global value prop and. Of course, that's the norm in the world of global capital markets. Um, Asia Pac expansion started early last year, and we added 17 cities uh, last year. Mm -hmm. I think it was about 150,000 kilometers of route miles, uh, sorry, of, of route kilometers sure. um, of connections between of those all of those cities, uh, and we've continued to expand on that. So if I think about all the world's um, financial hubs, we will be complete when we've added uh, all of those, and they don't come up that often. All right, so let's talk about um, being complete. Let's have a little bit of fun right now. Yeah. So let's look into the Perseus crystal ball. What do things look like a year from now? Um, political, economic, uh, <laughs> you know, things aside, we 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 may well have uh, we may well have uh, completed the the connection mission to add and you know, to add all of the world's financial liquidity centers, and that might mean we're, uh, we finish up in, uh, you know, sort of Nairobi, or in, um, in perhaps in uh, um, Nigeria. Wherever the path may lead, right? Right, wherever the liquidity goes. Liquidity is mercurial, so, you know, think of a tilting board. Absolutely. Wherever the poli whatever the politicians try to mess up, <laughs> it, will, it will find its way somewhere else. So if you pass a law that says you can't trade or you, trading becomes burdensome in, in certain markets, then the, the, the liquidity will go somewhere else. No, absolutely. And so for our, uh, our viewers who are interested in learning more about Perseus, where should they go? Um, they can go to Perseus.co. Uh, there's some reference data there that they can link to. They can look at uh, capabilities. They can talk to some of our clients um, uh, and also look at some of the you know, vendor record market data exchange filings around the world. Mm -hmm. um, wherever we go, uh, we tend to have to publish what we do in those markets. Of course, so, again, again, more of those rules we have to follow, right? Yeah, so <laughs> I have to be careful what I say on that one. <laughs> oh, I understand. Jack, thank you so much for being with us and thank you viewers for watching JSA TV.